shot one deer with it. So, curious to see what it'll do to another one. So, Abram got one with a 30-30 this morning. Obviously, this is a little bit bigger of a caliber, but it'd be pretty cool to compare the two since they're both brush guns. So, anyway, we'll sit back. Hopefully, we won't be here too long. Eli and I were just tucked up underneath those that big log pile and the doe came out all the way in the corner. I'm sorry about the footage. I shook shook a little bit because I was planning on using my knee as a rest for the camera, but it the way the deer where it was never just it just never came out to the pipeline and I had to lean over to the right a little bit. And I tell you what, that 4570 makes a boom. It scared the crap out of me, so I think you can still see the deer pretty decent, but it's not perfect, so I guess we're hunters before we are cameramen, so I guess that's a valid excuse. Alright, well we were getting a little bit nervous there, not gonna lie, but as you can see Eli's down there, he says he's got her, so I'm gonna find the easiest path down there and go, go check it out. Oh yeah, she started to pump it out. She's pretty big. Oh yeah, he absolutely destroyed that shoulder. She got a big old head on her. Well everyone, here she is. Abram and I were barely sitting here tonight and we knew they were gonna come out. They've been out here every night. Finally, just brought the gun, tried to shoot a doe. So it's probably about an 80 yard shot. She was quartering two. And at first we couldn't find anything. I was starting to get a little nervous that I missed it, but walked down in the woods a little bit farther. She probably ran maybe 40 yards. I was just expecting her to be a lot closer. But anyway, got another doe for the freezer and I know we still have more doe tags. We're saying this at the end of every video, but we do have a lot of doe tags, so I'm sure there'll be a lot more action coming here soon. So. All right, just got kind of set up here and <clears throat> overlooking a pipeline here that they just freshly seeded. There's been a bunch of doe coming out here. I'm sitting on one side of it, and Eli and Abram are on the other side. So hopefully between the, the two shooters here, we can get a doe or two on the ground. Abram got one this morning, so hopefully we can put a couple more down and It'll be a good day, so stick with us and hopefully deer start coming out here to feed pretty soon. I've been sitting here for probably 15, 20 minutes and I just heard Eli shoot on the other end of the pipeline here, so it sounded like I could hear the bullet hit it, so. Pretty sure he got it. I'm gonna sit here a little bit longer. Deer should start piling out here.
Eli just shot probably half hour ago. And I was sitting here and I had a fawn come out. I was acting super spooky. I kept looking back in the woods. So I was watching and then a bunch of them came out. So there was a couple big doe and a couple fawns out there. And I was sitting there getting ready to shoot, getting everything. Turned the GoPro on, which I don't know if it's... I think the battery died. But... I was sitting here, turned it on, and I heard walking right here, and a fawn came in five feet from me. I'm like, what the heck? So I didn't know whether to wait, if there was a big doe behind it or not, but I decided to shoot this one. That was, that one was probably 200 yards up there. I shot her, and you'll pr probably be able to see in a video, but it looked like it crushed her shoulder. And this is the only one I saw run, so I'm kind of glad I shot. I was waiting for a big one to be behind that fawn, but I didn't see any, so hopefully... I got that one. Here's my setup. Really didn't have much cover, but I knew as soon as they would come out, I'd be able to shoot. So it worked out. I just kind of tucked up next to this hemlock tree as a backdrop, and they came out perfect. They came out probably halfway up the pipeline, maybe three quarters, somewhere out in there, and they ran down over the hill after I shot her. So. And as I was sitting there, the one came in, there was like a logging trail right here. One walked right there, and I was sitting right there, and it came out kind of by that vine right there. So it was probably only 10 yards away. I was debating on whether to wait and see if there was a big one behind it, but I figured there was no way that thing was going to come in without spooking. So I decided to shoot those ones up there, and I'm glad I did because it worked out. Go check her out now. All right, she didn't make it far. I haven't found any blood, but I was just kind of looking down in the woods there and I saw it laying. Looked like a pretty big doe when I shot it. Big old doe. Looks like I hit it right in the front shoulder there. That's a big doe. It's a good day. Oh guys, that doe just came out. I don't know how far it is. It's probably 250. 250, yeah. And I aimed about center body on its shoulder. It felt real good. So I don't know if I hit it or not. As you guys know, I just shot. So we're gonna look, probably look at the footage here. It felt real good. So Eli, did you did you see anything? She jumped up. Like did I she, think you hit her. Yeah. yeah. It felt. Like this, this bog pod death grip is just a game changer. Before we were out here just trying to rest it on here, it just doesn't work, but this thing is awesome. That was a real steady on her. I'm, I'm positive I just smoked her, so it's awesome. All right, well, we just got back to where we shot the deer and right on impact, there's blood. So we went home and watched the footage too and it looked like I smoked her, so I don't think she's gonna be very far.
Is that the was that the entry right there? Exit. Exit. Man, that's another big doe. Four big doe. Big Three in this video that everyone's seen. I'll hold yours. There you are. Oh boys, here they are. This last one here is on a previous episode, so if you haven't seen that one, check it out. I'll leave it at the end of the video, but four deer in one day. All right, guys, we got the deer all loaded up in the back of the truck, so we got four of them today, one of our better better days for sure. Still have some doe tags, still have some buck tags. Hopefully we got, got quite a bit more hitting the dirt here shortly. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate the support. It really does go a long way. So thanks for watching and hope you liked it.